Well, we're here in the wall garden at Felbrick Hall here in Norfolk and the vegetable demonstration gardens here are a real fantastic feature and if ever you needed some proof of the value of a good mulch or top dressing on a border in terms of increasing the plant fertility and general growth then look at these onions. The size of these is absolutely sensational. Labelled as Sturon and some of those bulbs are a good six to eight inches across drying off nicely now in the late August sunshine here at Felbrick. They're going to be absolutely fantastic when picked and dried. We've also got some of the best squashes and courgette plants we've seen this season. Just look at the fruits developing on those. And this gourd just alongside them. Absolutely covered in fruit and a really healthy looking plant. No disease on that at all. It's really loving it here in the shelter of the wall garden. And again, just look at the size of these beetroot. Absolutely massive. This one's almost lifted itself out completely. But the size of a turnip rather than the traditional beetroot. Don't know whether that's going to be hollow and edible, but it's certainly growing well. This garden's not all about vegetables, although these demonstration plants are absolutely chocked full of them. These sunflowers particularly caught our eye. And this row of gladioli. Absolutely in full flower at the moment. Let's see if we can get a close-up of that for you. Absolutely stunning crimson red. Opening gradually up the stalk and growing again very, very nicely in this soil. There's a whole variety of different gourds being grown here in pumpkins. Look at this one. Beautiful lime green pumpkin like fruit sitting on this soil but really this is the secret to how they're growing here just look at the quality of this mulch it's really thick as well sand underneath it but the top dressing that they put on here is really thick every year and that's really helped with both the nutrients for these plants but also the moisture retention and it's looking very very good got a label on it this thing but again spectacular don't know whether it's a type of millet or not but purple both flowers leaves and stalks growing to around six feet tall spectacular it's almost overshadowed this row of kale which is only coming to about three and a half foot but obviously giving it some protection from the butterflies because there's hardly any caterpillar damage on this. It's growing really nicely. Again, really being helped by this fantastic top mulch. The soil condition here is absolutely brilliant for plant growth. I've also interspersed with the vegetable borders, got quite a bit of fruit trees. Some growing as standards, like this one in the middle of the border. But the majority growing as the spaliers on the walled element of the garden. This yellow raspberry caught our eye. It's quite a late one coming into fruit now towards the middle and late part of August. Same time as our autumn raspberries are coming in. This is probably a malling variety. Nice healthy row, good growth going to produce plenty of fruit this and just look at this potato crop suffering a little bit from exposure to the light but every sign that below those top layer of tubers these plants are going to give an absolute bumper yield and here's one of the long borders on the back of the wall garden absolute mass of colour with this ballyhead fruit on the back wall. The size of these plants is just astounding, particularly as we're in quite a hot drought here in Norfolk. This is another element of the wall garden. It's divided into two or three separate areas. 
with interspersed plantings and walls, giving this a really sheltered tropical feel. And the growth is absolutely beautiful and lush this year, despite the drought. These grow extremely well in Norfolk. Tall spires of tiny blue flowers going up to around 20 feet. They've got a lot of them in this garden. And they really do give focal points. This apple is Lane's Prince Albert. Set a really good crop of well-sized fruit, which is holding on this probably 40 or 50 year old espalier tree on the back wall of the fruit gardens here. Pulling strong growth on this year. Laterals are already out to around two and a half feet. It's a fair bit of fruit rotting on the ground from the June drop, but still plenty left on this tree. And what is still on the tree is looking extremely healthy. No disease or rust or bird damage on this at all. These are going to be absolutely superb quality fruit when they do ripen. Well, we're back in one of the long borders here at Felbrigg. And we've got some fantastically well-grown herbaceous plants flowering nicely here. I think we're just going to run you along. Just look at the colour on those. Absolutely spectacular. This little mallow's flowering nicely here. Good clump, quite a dense growth habit. This plant forms a lovely mound with these tiny little red and white flowers on it. Quite profusion. Tiny flowers. Is it called hot lips? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. Is it a salvia? Maybe. Sweet peas in the back, growing on short pyramids, flowering wonderfully this time of year. And there's plenty of them here. Beautiful. And the planting with this. It's just gorgeous, the colours in these are lovely. No, I didn't. This just soft at the end. Absolute mass of little pale mauve flowers when you get close up to them. Details superb with the little yellow elements held below the purple tops. This strawberry bed's now past its fruiting season. There's some dieback on this and yellowing. Grown under a plastic matting to try and reduce the weeds, but they look as if that probably ready for replanting quite soon. We've got tomato plants, runner beans, giant sunflowers, and again, pumpkins growing in profusion in this sheltered wall garden. It's quite dull today. We've got almost a sea mile growing in from the coast and Felbrigg is located only about a mile and a half inland between Cromer and Sheringham on the North Norfolk coast. So when we left Elsham this uh, lunchtime we were in bright sunshine and 34 degrees. We come here and we've got a little bit of a sea mile coming in and 21 degrees. This is another salvia. This one's labelled nicely for us, black currant sage. Lovely colour, small flower. Forming quite a large clump, about five, five and a half feet and about seven or eight feet across, a large plant. Just look at these zucchini or courgette plants as we call them in the UK. Absolutely massive, huge great clump growing really really well. This pot grown plant is labelled as soapwort. It looks incredibly like a phlox in its flower. Very pretty pale pink whitish flower and growing very nicely pot grown. This is the dove house in the back wall of the garden here at Felbrigg. White doves just making their way out. 
and the inside lined with nest boxes for the collection of eggs. So it's an important source of fresh food, wild eggs from the dove and pigeon population were an important source of protein in years gone by, important enough for them to have built a structure of this scale to house the livestock. We spotted this in the back of one of the borders. It's a cosmos, but a double white with a yellow center. Absolutely spectacular, never seen this before. Cosmos, usually just single flowers. Growing quite nicely, lovely open form cosmos. Really nice example that. The fruit here at Felbrig really is doing well this year. Just look in this standard apple tree. Absolutely laden with good sized cooking apples. And the fig trees on this back wall extend for a run of around 60 metres. Espaliered against the wall and pruned hard back. Absolutely covered in fruit when you get close up. This garden just continues round in this back walled section. We're now going to go back towards the two glass houses that you can just see the rear end of in the distance there. Just being cheeky and popping into one of these greenhouses. Lovely old heating pipes. Must have been a coal or wood fired boiler system that fed warm water through these at one stage. They run the entire length of the underside of these supports. The staging is not particularly old, obviously being replaced onto modern concrete posts. And here they've got a variety of different basils. Some lovely peppers coming on in here. Nice crop developing. They're trying some onions in the distance. And there's a tomato crop in small pots being grown on the front aspect. It's nice the way they've set this old metal water trough here with a downpipe coming from the guttering directly into it. Don't know what happens if it fills up completely, it must just overspill onto the ground here, it looks like it probably does. But a nice way of getting your water conveniently into your glass house, exactly where you want it now. There's plenty of gladioli grown in this uh, vegetable border, just as spotlights of colour. This one's particularly striking with its mid, almost bright orange in the centre with a peachy apricot outer. Lovely. And that's grown just in front of these, I think they're salvias again. Sunflowers, everything all mingled together with the vegetables growing in between. It's a lovely mixed planting. This path goes down one of the mid sections of the long borders here and lets you look at both borders on either side of the echinums going right up skyward. Eucalyptus and a whole range of plants, including these grasses, which are all being grown in, in pots so they can be moved around rather than being permanent features in the garden. That's quite a nice idea, that. And we've got here these lovely hibiscus plants growing against this wall, flowering beautifully here. 